The SciShow Wonder Woman bust has entered the Secret Sanctuary, but what scale is it? And does it even matter? Hi guys, welcome back to the Sanctuary. We have Wonder Woman, the first in a new trinity of busts from SideShow. First Wonder Woman. I think the next one we're getting is Superman and then Batman, or is it reversed? I can't remember. But the interesting thing about this piece, first off, is the scale. I think a lot of collectors expected these to be one third. Uh, but as we've seen photos coming out of this, and now as I see it in hand, it's not that large. It is bigger than fourth, one fourth scale, but it's not one third. Uh, and when I look at the product descriptions on Sideshow's website for the Trinity, uh, they also have Wolverine and Thanos. And is there a Deadpool? Maybe a Deadpool? Um, none of them list a scale. They list dimensions. They list height, width, depth, but no scale. So apparently they are their own scale, which is fine as long as they're consistent. As long as these three, the Trinity, uh, appear to be in the same scale, I don't really mind if they're between scales, between one-fourth and one-third. But let's take a look at this beautiful piece. All right, so she's about nine and a half inches tall, nine inches wide, and 4.75 inches deep. And I'll go right to her portrait. You guys have already seen pictures on Facebook probably, and know that this is probably one of the best female portraits, at least that I've ever seen. It's a very determined expression, but also really displays her beauty, which is one of the great things about Wonder Woman. She's very attractive, but also a warrior. Just a beautiful portrait, and the paint looks really nice on it. The first two collectors that posted pictures uh, on Facebook, I think it was, uh, received uh, pieces with broken tips off the hair. So that was a concern that uh, maybe that was going to be a problem for a lot of collectors, but uh, I haven't seen it since those two collectors posted. Mine arrived just fine. I didn't have to travel far. I'm only about 70 miles from Sideshow, so maybe that's part of it. But luckily, it, there's no problems with my piece. This is a really neat angle. I love that strand of hair. You can see her eyes through it. Some people uh, have felt that there's um, a gap between her portrait and her neck. I'm not seeing that on mine. Mine clicked in really good and it seems okay. I want to show you some of the detail on the paint. Hands are often uh, a sloppy <laughs> part of a statue. Very often there's like a webbing between the fingers. Uh, but we don't have that here. We have distinct fingers. The paint looks really good. There's not really any overspray that I can see. Let me show you a full shot from the back. A lot of collectors have mentioned that uh, they wish this could have been a premium format or at least a, a complete statue in any scale. Heck, one third would have been great. Give you more close-ups. This is also a nice angle. The skin texture is really good. It glistens a little like she's sweating in, in battle. More close-ups. Uh, one thing that's different about this piece uh, than the Batman and the Superman is that she has two arms. Uh, the other two only have one arm. Uh, they try to hide um, the missing arm with a cape or something like that. And the Batman is quite a bit taller because uh, 
His arm is raised up, he's throwing a batarang. And that one has a great portrait too. I can't wait to see that one when it comes out. How close can I get? There we go. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's uh, show a few comparisons. Okay, here's a comparison shot with the most recent Sideshow Wonder Woman premium format quarter scale. And you can see that the bust portrait is larger, but it's not a lot larger. It's certainly not one third scale. So in a way, it's a little disappointing. I'm not sure why I thought that, uh, that these busts were gonna be one third scale. But um, again, like I said before, as long as they're consistent with each other, I'll be happy. But at $250, um, I had hoped it would be a little bit bigger. But as you can see, it is slightly larger than a quarter scale premium format. So unfortunately, I don't own any female one third scale pieces right now. I've got one on the way, but uh, she's currently uh, in a shipping container crossing the Pacific Ocean. Uh, I do have one uh, male one third scale, and here he comes. Oops. All right. So this is the Justice League um, Batfleck one third scale from Prime One. Now I know this piece is known for being large for one third scale, but I, I wanted to give you uh, at least one comparison with a one third scale piece. And obviously uh, she's nowhere near that size, uh, even if the Batfleck was significantly smaller, like more in scale with other one third pieces, uh, like the Justice League Superman. Uh, I think was a smaller piece. Um, even if they were smaller, um, I think they'd be probably still be quite a bit bigger than this Wonder Woman bust. So I think we're firmly uh, in the bigger than one fourth, but nowhere near one third territory. Here's the box. Nice to get a smaller box from Sideshow for a change. It's got a nice Wonder Woman insignia on the front. And then just these bands of color continue around the back of the box. And on the top, it says Wonder Woman. And on the bottom, my edition number. So to conclude, she's a beauty. She looks great. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about a little bit is the price. But if you have this on pre-order, you've already accepted the price. <laughs> so all you have to look forward to is a really beautiful Wonder Woman bust uh, probably coming to you as we speak. Uh, if you do not have this on order, and you're thinking about it, I would recommend that you get off the pot and take care of business because there's only 500 of these. And for a character as popular as Wonder Woman, uh, that's a really small number. Uh, so I think this is gonna sell out. So I would highly recommend, if you're considering this at all, uh, to get in gear and, and place that, that order. Um, and she's shipping now, so you know, don't have to wait very long. I'm going to be back later this week, hopefully with a review of the new Sideshow Premium Format Flash, uh, which is speeding his way towards me as we speak. Uh, no, he ships Friday, and very often um, UPS delivers to me on Saturdays, and I'm only an hour from Sideshow, so I often get them the very next day. So either Saturday or maybe Monday, uh, I'll be back. With, a, with the flash review. I also have another small piece coming from Sideshow this week, which I'll do a review of. It's not a superhero piece. Uh, I'll keep that one a secret until it arrives. Um, and I'll also be back uh, next Wednesday, not this week, but next Wednesday on Rogues Gallery Live with the, the regular crew of guys. So take care of yourself out there. Spend time with your family. Wear your freaking mask. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.